Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the first video in this series. Well, it wasn't originally the first, but this is an addendum because I thought I would add this. I think it's, it's going to be some useful information to get you started on the right foot for this class. I want to talk about what really is an HTML file, how do we use the text editors, and how do we open a file? Let's start off with what is an HTML file. We're used to seeing these HTML files rendered in a browser like this. It's a web page, okay? An HTML file is a uh, page full of text, full of images, full of links, full of videos, sounds, games, all this kind of stuff, all thrown into uh, one file and formatted in such a way that the web browsers interpret it like this as a web page. In this class you're going to learn how to write all of that markup that'll help organize that information in such a way that it's it's easily interpretable by a by a browser, by a user looking at it with their eyes, and by devices like screen readers. HTML looks something like this. You've got different types of commands. Well, this is actually CSS, which you'll also learn about. has different commands, and each of those commands do different types of things. This is the HTML. Okay, You're going to write markup that looks a lot like this. Okay, You'll have a bunch of text content, and you'll surround it with these tags. And when you save it as an HTML file, you can then open it in a web browser, and it'll look something like this. Clear? Okay, let's move on to how do we use the text editors. I'm going to start with Notepad++ because that's the one that I'm going to use for all of my demonstration videos. Notepad++ is just a simple text editor where you type your, your HTML markup and you'll notice that in Notepad++ it has this syntax highlighting. In other words, when I click on one tag, the other to the closing tag gets gets highlighted. And different types of things get different colors. And we'll talk more about that in a future video, the syntax highlighting. But basically it's just a glorified editor. You type text in here and you save it and then you can open it up. Okay? So how do we open it up? Notepad++ is cool because it's got a, a feature for launching directly from the application itself. If I go to Run, I have a few options. Launch in Firefox, launch in IE, Internet Explorer, launch in Chrome, and launch in Safari. I'm going to launch in Chrome. You'll notice there's also keyboard shortcuts. Control alt shift r for Chrome, and that's what I'm going to use in all of my videos. I'm, just I, I'm quite fond of, of keyboard shortcuts because they, they make life so much easier, and I'm going to be using them in all the future videos. So just so you know, if you forget how to do this, you can always refer back to this video, but Control alt shift r is the keyboard shortcut to launch in Chrome. So there you go. Now it's launched in Chrome in a new tab. Let's take a look at an even simpler text editor. This is something called Notepad, which is built into Windows. You can find it under the, the, the Windows button, All Programs, Accessories, and it's right there. Notepad is just a no-frills text editor. You can write text and you can save text. And when you save it, you do File, Save As, and then you have to choose a name, and you have to choose a type, so I always have to choose All Files. Then you have to give it an extension, .html. And we'll talk more about this in future videos as well. And save it. Now, this does not have that, that helpful run button and launch directly to Chrome thing. I have to go and browse for that file. So I have to look for my HTML file to open in a browser. So let's do that. Open up my file browser. I keep mine in Google Drive, my web design folder, unit 5, 
and I called it Box Model Basics AM. And you'll notice that on my computer, it looks like a little Chrome icon because Chrome is my default browser. Your default browser on your computer might be Explorer, or it might be Firefox, or it might be Safari, or it might be, uh, you know, one of many other browsers. Probably it's going to be either Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox if you're using a PC and Safari if you're using a Mac. Now to open this in the web browser, you just have to double click on it. So double click on it and it opens in the browser. If I wanted to open it in a different browser, I would go right click and I would look for open with, this is in Windows, and then I could choose the type of browser I want, Firefox or Explorer. I'll open in Explorer. Now, these files here are my HTML files. If we look right over here, we can see the, the file name, its icon, the date that it was modified, and then the type, Chrome HTML document. The reason it says Chrome HTML document is because Chrome is my default browser set up by Windows. I chose that. I chose to make Chrome my default browser, so it'll say Chrome. If your default browser is Firefox, it'll say Firefox HTML document. But this is an HTML document. This is the file that you created over here in your editor. Okay, So when I save it, it becomes one of these web documents or these HTML documents. Clear? Great. Let's look at one more editor that I, that I like quite a bit. This one is called Brackets. And Brackets is relatively new. Um, as of 2015, it's about a year old. It's not very old at all. Um, but uh, it's got a lot of really cool features that we're not going to get into in this class. But um, some of the cool features that I like are, one, it's got the syntax highlighting, just like um, Notepad++ did, where you click on an opening tag, the closing tag is highlighted. Different, feet, different structures are highlighted with different colors. And if you screw things up, you'll see those colors are going to look wrong. It also has these little um, arrows on the side that allow me to expand and contract parts of the markup. So if I don't want to see what's in my header, I can just um, hide it. If I don't want to see what's in my nav, I can just hide it. If I don't want to see what's in the figure, I hide it. Paragraph, I hide it. Paragraph, I hide So you know, I can just go along and hide all the things that I don't want to see, which I think is pretty darn cool. So um, that's a great feature. The really cool feature about this is um, the live preview button. Up in the upper right hand corner there's this lightning bolt. It says live preview. If you click on it, it'll bring up a uh, Chrome browser window with your, uh, with your, uh, your web page in it. Okay? So this is the web page that I've, that I've created in, in uh, brackets. And if I uh, make some changes. Let's say I'm going to change the, the width of the figure to 55% and save it. When I go over there, it's automatically changed. I don't have to refresh the browser. It's a live preview. And if I put this over here, and I put brackets over here, if I make changes, as soon as I save it, you'll see those changes take place. Okay? Pretty cool. So I like brackets quite a bit. It's probably my favorite text editor right now. Now, to save in brackets, we've got our any of our working files over here. And if you want to open a new working file, just go File Open and browse for it. I keep everything in my drive. and then it'll show up in the working files. If we want to get rid of a working file because we don't want to see it anymore, we just have to click on the X to close it. Now to save a working file, it's just like any other program, File, Save As, and we need to make sure that we give it a name, List Practice 22, and we have to choose Type. We have to choose Web Files here. If you don't, it's not going to be an HTML file. It'll be a text file that won't open in a browser. So dot HTML. That's very important, the HTML and web files portion. If you don't do it, it's not going to work. Save, and there it is. And my live preview will show that it's right there. And if I want to find this um, 
this document that I just saved, it's called List Practice 22, I have to browse for it. So I'll go to my Windows uh, file browser, my web design folder, it was in unit 4, and there we have it right there. So if I just double click on it, it'll open it in a browser. So in short, you're going to be creating these HTML files. They're just text files, but when you save them, they become these web page files and you'll open up these web page files in a browser. Furthermore, when you turn in your assignments, you're going to have to turn in these HTML files, these web page files. Sometimes they'll all be in a folder and zip, sometimes it'll just be just one single file that you'll that you'll drop, but those are the things that you turn in. I hope this was was helpful and I hope it gets you off on the right foot. Hey, have fun with this class. I think it's a good one. And I'll see you around.